In this video, we're going to consider a farmer who's mowing his rectangular lawn in a spiral pattern. This farmer has a field that's 200 rods by 400 rods. So let's make his rectangular field here. And we're going to call it 200 by 400. And he's mowing in a spiral pattern, starting from the outside, working towards the center. And after an hour of work, he's 72% done. So after an hour of work, or I'm sorry, after an hour of work, 72% of the field is left uncut. So 72% is in the center of that rectangle. And we want to know what is the size of the ring he has around the outside. Well, let's start by considering the area of this rectangle. The whole thing is 200 by 400, which gives us 80,000. But we want 72% on the inside. To find 72% of that 80,000, we'll multiply by 0.72 times the 80,000. 80,000 times 0.72, we end up with 576, I'm sorry, 57,600. And that's what makes up the inside rectangle. To get an equation, let's get some dimensions. We want the length and the width of this. And we've cut off some unknown distance off the left and the right and the top and the bottom. We'll call all those distances x. Which means to get our new length, it was 400, but we took an x off the left and the right. We now have 400 subtracting off those two x's, one from the left and one from the right. Similarly, with the height, it was 200, but taking an x off the top and bottom, we now have 200 minus 2x. And now we can make an equation multiplying the length times the width equals the area. 400 minus 2x times 200 minus 2x is going to equal that area we found of 57,600. We now have an equation we can solve. Start by foiling out this guy. Gives us 80,000 minus 800x minus 400x plus 4x squared equals the 57,600. Combine the like terms in the middle, also put it in the right order. Gives us 4x squared minus 1200x plus 80,000 equals 57,600. It needs to equal 0 before we go anywhere else, so we'll subtract 57,600 from both sides, giving us 4x squared minus 1200x plus 80,000 minus 57,600 is 22,400 equals 0. Now that it's equal to 0, we're ready to factor. Always start with the GCF. We have a GCF of 4. Gives us x squared minus 300x plus 5600 equals 0. And then we can solve what's left in the parentheses by either factoring, completing the square, or the quadratic formula. This one, with a little guess and check, you might be able to stumble on the factors. Let me scroll a bit to give us a bit more worm to work. So it factors to x minus 20 times x minus 280 equals 0. And again, if you can't find those factors, you could use the quadratic formula or completing the square instead. But we'll set x minus 20 equal to 0, x minus 280 equals 0. Add 20, and we get x equals 20 for one possible answer. Add 280 and we get x equals 280 for another possible answer. So are both right? Well, not really. Remember, the original lawn was 200 rods tall. If it's 200 rods tall, can we cut 280 off the top and the bottom? Mm, not really. So he must have made a border of 20 rods around his field. 